Hi everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts, and if you're new here, welcome, and if you've been here before, welcome back. So today I am working on my Alaska journal here, and if you guys haven't seen the beginning videos of me doing this, I will make sure to post the playlist at the end of the video, on the end screen, so you guys can come check it out. Okay, so what I want to do today is, um, when we went on our trip, my son got a hat, and this was inside uh, of the brim of the hat. So I was thinking this would be a great pocket for the inside of the journal. And so I want to do that. And then um, the other day I went ahead and put this together where I uh, just did some vinyl and I cut it out on my Cricut machine and designed this and cut it out and then ironed it on. And I will go ahead and sh show you guys a little short clip of that. I'll try to remember to put that in here so you guys could see it. It's just a quick video of, of me doing it. And um, underneath here is coffee dyed, uh, just cheesecloth, and then just some black fabric. And then I just sewed with some red thread around it. So that's why I did that. And I want that to be on the front cover. And then I'm going to use this fabric that I, my mom sent me. Um, I have tons of fabric. She's a quilter and uh, she sent me stuff through the years. And uh, I thought this was great, perfect for uh, an Alaska themed journal. So I want to show you guys how I'm going to put this on for the front of the journal. And yeah, we'll go from there and see where we're at. Okay, so I did this with you guys. I had a menu that I had, the, the little newspaper menu, which was really cute, and got that at, um, it was Bear Paw, is what it was called in Anchorage, Alaska, and it was a restaurant, and it was really cute. It's right here, I have another, I grabbed a couple. I got everybody's menu at the table. <laughs> so, uh, it's just super cute. It's got all kinds of stuff. And it's got the menu in here. I don't know if I showed you guys on the last video, but you could see like a bison burger and, oh, the gold rush. That's cute for the pizza and the grizzly, uh, Alieska Alpine. So yeah, it just has all kinds of fun stuff. So that's, that was the menu. So I did an, uh, a collage for the inside here. And this is just a bag that I got at the Alaska walking store. Okay. So what I want to do is I'm going to start with the inside pocket here. So what I want to do, because it is curved, is I think I'm going to go down further. So I'm just going to line this up. And what I'm thinking is I'm going to cut this part off and probably use this as a corner tuck somewhere with the word Alaska on it. And I'm going to bring this down and just do a straight cut along under their little paws here and their little feet. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then get it glued down. Okay, so I went ahead and cut this to size and then I did some sewing around it. Then I glued it down and I used the art glitter glue and glued it into where I wanted it. Then I went to my sewing machine and I just opened this up like that and just sewed just right down here, just on this edge. Okay, now, oh, and I also inked with Vintage Photo on around the edge of this. Now, if you want to, I'm, I think I'm gonna do the same thing. I think I'm gonna take some Vintage Photo and go ahead and just ink the inside here and get that done real quick. Okay, so I'm all inked around the edges on the inside here. And now I want to work on my fabric cover. So 
what I want to do is, if you could see here, you could see that it's a little bigger, the, the fabric is. And what I want to do is show you guys a trick on how you can fray the edges of the fabric pretty fast, okay? Because you could see in here, there's just, it's all just weaved together. And I want to make it pretty frayed on the outside. So I'm just taking a regular just hair comb and you could just go like this and it sits there and it pulls all the strings out for you just like that okay and then you take your strings and make sure you keep them I put them in here for my clusters that I do so those are great to have little threads okay so you just go like this Catches it all right here for you. And I would think if you had a metal comb, it would work really good. I just don't have a metal comb. But this is working pretty good. So you just get it in there and just work it. That's if you want the edges really frayed, which that's kind of the look I wanted to go for. to make it all wispy on the edges. So I'm gonna do that and I'm just gonna keep combing the fabric here and getting it to where I want it and then I will be back. Okay, so as you guys can see, it's coming along nicely here. It's getting nice and frayed. And I want to show you guys that the small, you know, you have the wide part of the comb and then the smaller part. I use that part. The little the little part because you can really get in there and just get it frayed up and get the threads out so it takes a second but it is worth it it looks really cool okay so there we go and then if you can't pull them just take your scissors, just take your fabric scissors and just a little, little snip. A little snip. Just line it up. Okay. So there we go. Put it like this. And this is what I want to use to uh, tie the journal together. So I'm just gonna fold it in half. And this I think is, I think it's tea dyed. Okay. And it's got little stars on it, so it's super cute. I'll show you guys. See, so even when it was tea dyed, the stars stayed like a cool cream, light cream color. So I thought it'd go great with the Alaska theme here. So I'm gonna go about two inches in on each side. And then just glue it. Make sure they're at least lined up. And I'm gonna use my Fiber Fix glue. Okay. So I'm gonna be gluing and I'm gonna be sewing around the edges too. So give it a little extra security underneath. And then now I'm just gonna look at it. Let's see. I think that's a pretty good fit. So what I want to do is take my, and I'm debating here, if before I glue this down, I'm thinking if I want to sew this on here. If I wanna wind up sewing it or gluing it. Hmm. I'm noticing that I could see through you can kind of see through the material. So I might get some batting. I think I'll go ahead and get some batting underneath it and I'll grab that and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so this is batting and it just usually goes under quilts or something to kind of pat it, but you could do um, just like a thicker receiving blanket would work or flannel. Um, 
uh, anything like that, even like a thicker cotton, maybe tablecloth, you can cut that up. Uh, just something to give a little bit of padding, but I'm doing it to hide the words too. But this will give it a nice plush feel to it. And keep in mind, if you do have the frayed edges, to not have the batting go out all the way to the frayed edges, just do it. Um, and you can see I don't have it cut perfect, which should be fine. And um, see how that one's over too far? So you could just take your scissors and just give it a little trim. Just make sure it's not like on the frayed edge because it'll just stick out and you can see it. Because we want to hide the batting. Okay. So there we go. That'll give it a nice plush little feel to it. Okay, and then we want to see what the top, and I want this to be up like this. Okay. And then I'm going to fold it in half. Like that. Let's see where I want to place this. So if you guys are enjoying this video, please hit the like button. It helps me out so much. It gets my video out there more for everybody else to see. Okay. So I'm just going to line, I'm going to do it towards the top here. And I think that's where I want to have it. I think that's a good spot. Now, a good thing you could do here is, I'm going to use my Fabrifix. I'm just going to give it just, just in the middle where the needle's not going to touch. So it'll stay where I want it. So that's where I want it. And then I'm just going to make sure I open this up like that. Okay. And I'm going to go to the sewing machine and I'm going to do it through all of it through the batting, the fabric, and the front little label thing here, the little cover here. So I'm just going to go and do some sort of stitch. I'm not sure yet. I'll have to look and see. And I'll s just see what I come up with. I'll be right back. All right, so I decided to go a little crazy here, <laughs> but I have fun with it. So what I did, and I'll show you guys, is I went ahead and did a, not a zigzag, but just a wavy stitch. If you could see that. I just kind of did that around, and then I did it twice. So I did it around twice. And then I was like, you know, I think that would look kind of cool if I did that throughout the whole thing. So you can see it kind of this way, but I think it looks super cool. It reminds me of like basket weaving, which um, is huge in Alaska with weaving baskets and stuff. And I didn't even do it intentionally, but I think it's kind of fun. And I don't know why that came to mind, but it kind of just reminded me of it, especially if I kept going and did tighter ones. But I kind of like the bigger here or maybe even like a net like that, or it kind of looks like a flag almost too. That's kind of funny, but um, uh, yeah, like a net. That's kind of fun. So that's what I did, and you can see I just went ahead and just did some wiggly lines this way, and then down the other way, just to hold all this together, and it gives it a cool quilted look to it. Okay, so we got that far. Now, what I want to do is Make sure it's the right way. So that's the top. Okay. And then I'm just going to have this go on here. So I'll show you guys first before I mess around with that. <clears throat> what I want to do now, if you want to make a use a bag and make a journal with it and have this part open, I've done that and I think it's great. It's a fun way have a little pocket and stuff and you can decorate on the inside and stuff but for this time I'm just gonna have the pocket here and then this is gonna be a tuck so I want to put the fabric on the front and when I do I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna see how it's all open I'm just gonna do a zigzag stitch all the way just around the entire thing like that and it'll close off the bag part here and just make sure when you do, just have your ties out. Just make sure they're not like that or something, so you sew them. So just make sure they're out 
like that. And then just do some sewing all the way around and that'll make a nice little tuck here and it'll close up the little pocket. But like I said, just if you don't want to do that, just go ahead and just sew around and just stop here and here. So there we go. So that's what I'm going to try to do here. Let's turn that. And sometimes it's better just make sure it's right side up like this. It's better to see this way. Then I can see the frayed edges and I'll stand up so I can see here. So just line it up. And if you guys do not want to sew, then just go ahead and take some, I would suggest like some Fabrifix glue, which is right here. So like a Fabrifix glue is really great to do, to glue down fabric and all kinds of stuff. Um, that's my recommendation. And I do have my Etsy links or uh, my Amazon links. I have my Etsy link down below too, but my Amazon links are down below of some of the things I've used and uh, materials that I have and stuff. So just come check those out if you'd like. And uh, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is just line this up and just take it and just sew all the way around the whole bag. Okay, so I decided to go ahead and just take some of the Fabrifix glue and just go where the needle is not gonna hit. So if you ever use glue or anything, even a glue stick and stuff, just make sure to just glue the middle part because you don't want to gum up your needle because not a good idea. And then I'm just going to do the same thing and then this will just be tacked down with the glue holding it in place. All right, so there we go. I went ahead and did some sewing all the way around. And we got a fun little pocket. We got an inside pocket here. Put stuff in, so that's fun. So that because I just went ahead and sewn and closed it off, and then the outside turned out really cool. So there we go. You can see just some fancy zigzag all the way around it, and then I'm just going and snipping just the little threads hanging. So I just went ahead and just went all the way around and I caught the edge. So what makes that nice to do that is it closes everything off nicely for the bag and it helps catch like some of the, uh, when I did the collage for the newspaper, some of it was sticking up in little bits, you know, pieces or whatever, and it sewed it down really nice. So it's got everything secure, looking great. We got our ties secure in there, and then you just fold your journal how you want it. And then we can just take it and give it a tie. And then that will definitely hold some fun things here. All right. There we go. I think that turned out fun and you got a little handle to carry it around so i hope you guys found this informational and if you could please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell and you guys to see my next video when i post it like comment and share and let's grow together and keep on crafting